Welcome to the Sushi Forum Week 103. Each week we look at the proposals that are on Sushi Discourse Forum on Snapshot or have already passed the voting process. This is an open community call, so everyone is welcome to join us up on stage anytime. We also have the AMA Text Questions channel available for those who wish to engage via text. As always, joined by our super co-host, Zappuccini. Now, this is financial advice. Please do your own research. All right, a little bit of a quieter week uh, so far, but uh, some of you may have noticed as we are kicking it here in Discord, you may have noticed a bit of a facelift. So yeah, uh, you know, went through and managed a few channels, uh, archived some stuff that was either redundant or was just no longer used, uh, really trying to tighten things up for everyone so that the experience can be better. There was like so many channels um you know have added kind of uh, uh i really like those little bars that go after in between like the emoji and the actual description of the channel uh, i feel like that just makes things so much cleaner i know a lot of places are using it so it's not like it's really novel or anything but it's just you know it looks really clean in far as far as i'm concerned um i hope like the and i, I kind of like the long flat you know fat bars as well uh like hyphens i guess that go between uh each category so I think it, it to me, like I'm, I'm hoping that this is also conveying with others that like there is a, uh, you know, a clear distinction between categories that channels are available. Um, yeah. And if there's anything missing or if, uh, if there's something that uh, needs to come back or, you know, if there's uh, oversight on something or still some stuff to get rid of, like uh, we might look at a couple more channels just to consolidate. Um, yeah. Later today, but uh yeah, overall, uh, if anybody's got feedback, very open to it and would love to hear from it. Uh, Sophia Q, I see your hand is up. Not sure if this is, hopefully this is Discord related or if it was just an error. But anyhow, um, yeah, and then of course, if for any of the roles and things like that, those are all uh, going to be, uh, some of those have changed. So uh, there was like the Wakita and the uh, Tomodachi, uh, you know, and a lot of people were just confused by the old, you know, Japanese names. And, you know, those were kind of like for, uh, you know, old kind of OG members and things like that. So we've kind of taken the approach to say, hey, uh, anybody that had had that that has had those roles previously, let's just batch it all together as like sushi, sushi OG. So um yeah, uh, batching it as that for now. And, uh, you know, as people become like, you know, uh, further and further ingrained to the ecosystem, maybe we can look at ways to continue to add to that list. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of like showing a little thank you for your dedication to being, uh, involved here and, and engaged in, uh, in sushi and in this discord. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, collab land, we will be deprecating that, uh, you know, everything's moving over to guild guild has been great. Uh, they're offering a lot of support. A lot of different protocols are using them as well. So please, if you haven't already need to sign up to guild, uh, connect your wallet to guild. It is Safu and, um, yeah, you can connect your Twitter and your, uh, discord and everything to it too. And it, when you go to join some roles, it'll actually ask for that. Uh, we'll likely bring that into uh, into sushi as well, you know, to tie your tel Twitter in as well. And uh, you know, they even have some cool features where you can, if you have like a you know certain thing in your uh, in your username, um, you know, you can actually um, give you a role for that. So um, yeah, that's some cool stuff there. Uh, please, if there's any ideas, thoughts, questions, concerns around the layout, the format, channels missing, please uh, let us know. Be uh, you know happy to accommodate here, but we'll uh, yeah make sure that you switch over to Guild because all the collab land roles are going to go away. Uh, yeah, Guild just offers like a way more flexibility in uh, in what we can do all right um yeah then moving on to snapshot stuff unless i don't know uh zap have you got anything else here for the week that we could uh we should discuss uh to start off with 
Well, um, there's a few things, I guess. Uh, I've noticed like lately, uh, a lot of people have been coming in, um, mm -hmm. and I guess uh, aping into like new tokens on Arbitrum. Okay. There's just been a lot of scam tokens being churned out lately. Yep. So people will end up with a bag of it, and it's designed in a way that you can only trade in such a small amount that it's like literally not worth trading because it's like not worth the gas. And mm -hmm. uh, then like we'll be looking in those contracts, and we'll see that there's like a rug function that they just like you know dump all the money to their address and so i've been seeing people get wrecked by that a lot lately i just want to put out a psa to like be cognizant and uh careful do a little bit of research on that yeah and uh you know like if you if if they happen to have like the contract you know like a variable like verified and available and like you can like just take a control f search through it just type kill if it says kill self in the contract that's a bad bad sign that's red flag <laughs> Good to uh, know. Doubly so if you see like Binance smart chain addresses, like contract addresses in there, you know, for an Arbitrum token, it's not quite right. Mm -hmm. Or it says, you know, I gold or whatever. But yeah, that's a, that's one thing I've been seeing uh, lately. And I just like to warn people about. Um, yeah. No, it's a good. Otherwise, thing. otherwise, um, I just, I, I started putting up the, the forms to Spotify. Yep. And uh, yeah, like um, I was like, putting them up every two days from form 100. So this one will go up there. And uh, yeah, that's just another thing. Yep. Perfect. Top of my head. Yeah. That's handy and accessible for people. So you can just go directly from Spotify while you're cruising in the car or, uh, you know, going for your heavy yog, a heavy yog around the park. Uh, you can yeah. listen to, uh, if Zach. you want to listen to us while you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Know, just listen to our, our nonsense and yammering on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's a really cool way just to have, you know, further exposure and accessibility for everyone. So that's really cool. Um, and as we had mentioned here before, we're going to try and get uh, uh, get a kind of a restream thing going here as well. So we can just directly uh, live stream to YouTube as well. Um, so we're going to have this uh, a lot of different ways of making sure that we can cover uh, cover a bunch of mediums. Uh, so also looking at uh, at Twitch as well. So Anybody that's over there or on YouTube, you'll be able to access it that way as well. And um, hopefully we start getting some more of those like onsen ANAs that we used to do back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, talking about yeah. the projects. Yeah, we could uh, yeah, get those going again and yeah, get some other, uh, yeah, some other content and, uh, and whatnot going. Um, yeah, it gets old just seeing sushi form plastered across the entire YouTube. I, mm -hmm. I, I know. Mm -hmm. No. Cool. Um, oh, and another another thing. Yep. Um, before I forget, uh, I went ahead and extended the claim period for the Pixel Party mm -hmm. NFTs. If you uh, participated in the Pixel Party birthday last year for Poop, and uh, it was a hundred pixels, you had to paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you are eligible to claim a copy of it. Awesome. So I'll just put those links in there, and uh, I'll be sure to push that on Twitter. And just I want to make sure everybody who can gets it. Because, you know, waiting a whole year for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you've got those links, let's toss it into the AMA text questions if possible. Uh, and then, yeah, like you say, you'll broadcast that on Twitter so people can catch that after. So, um, yeah, galaxy.com, sushi campaign, perfect. And I haven't forgotten about the Dolly thing either. It's just parsing through the information is actually, like actually trying to figure out top, you know, LPers and lenders is actually actually pretty hard. So a yeah. yeah. flip side has helped out a little bit with that. And I've had Jiro and other people and Nightshade mm -hmm. has, has tried helping out with it. And it's coming. Mm -hmm. It is going to come. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the Sushi Pixel party was, uh, those were pretty cool. Those were a lot of fun. Uh, that first one was like, uh, really worked well. I kind of botched the second one because I was like, "Oh, we need to have a more space," and went with like the maximum yeah, amount of space. It's the it's a bit of a you know, there's a lot of room on the canvas there, but mm -hmm. I think the uh, so two fifty six by two fifty six was the first one. I think the five twelve by five twelve is the sweet spot. I really do because now there's like you know yeah. depending on like I guess the campaign around and how much marketing you've done with it, but if you've got a lot of interest. 512 by 512 because then like there's enough for everybody to like play and participate and like it's going to fill up and 
yeah there's yeah like, dro- dro- drove us crazy when people were like you know overlapping and drawing over each mm-hmm. other when we're trying to do like you know little yeah. masterpieces on there yeah little masterpieces you just have like a bot just like going pixel by pixel like yeah that was annoying i remember like going there and just like clicking behind the like okay no 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 you can't paint here pan, pan. and then it would just like stop eventually and they'd start over because they realized like they were just getting rugged anyhow uh yeah so cool there's those uh yeah, on Galaxy there, if you can go and claim those um, for both of those, if you did paint 100 pixels, uh, yeah, go check that out. Okay, uh, heading over to snapshot stuff, uh, multi-sig uh, signers, that is currently live. Uh, so yeah, a Sushi Treasury multi-sig update. Uh, currently, just going to refresh the page. We are... Yay at 7 million sushi power in favor. Uh, 8.7 thousand sushi power in as a nay. And then we did have some abstainers. So a very small amount, 1.3 so far. Uh, that wraps up tomorrow in like 22, 20, like a little over 20 hours. So you still have some time to vote if you haven't already. And yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, please get on that. Please get on that if you haven't voted already. Now, the other thing too is that uh, so like all these I voted Po apps, for example, uh, they like that's not working anymore because Po app doesn't want to hand them out for like a lot of the siblers, which is kind of like very annoying, but at the same time very understandable because like I will try and query the CSV file from this afterwards just to like get an idea of like how many people like where, where the threshold is of like let's say what are the top 250 vo- uh, wallets that are voting on here so like there's 655 right now but you know where is you know what are the you know top 250 or top 300 and maybe that's how we look at it is just say like we're gonna have 300 po apps per vote or something like this and if you're in the top 300 you get a po app or something like this um, we could set up a delivery rather than like the I voted po app there. Like I say, they want to set it up so that if you had a threshold, then, you know, if you had like a voting threshold, which you can set in snapshot, but to me, that's like, that's going to require governance. And I don't know that that's really fair. And like the way, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm a little bit torn on saying like, oh, you need 10 sushi power to vote. And is like, as that, you know, as like, fluctuations in price and all that stuff changes it's like does that make sense is that right is that uh, i don't know so i'm like a little bit torn on setting thresholds uh, i wish the i voted po app had a threshold because then that could get changed and that part doesn't require governance we're not excluding everyone from their voice being heard across the forum or sorry across like snapshot and i don't know um yeah, I know they were working on it, whether that's coming or not, how soon it is. It's definitely not a priority for them. But uh, yeah, if we make some decisions ahead of time, um, and maybe that's another forum post that I should look at, is just like how many of the top, like we should just pick a number, say the top X amount of uh, people, like X amount of sushi holders that are voting get a PO app for voting. And maybe it's 300, maybe it's 500, maybe it's... 100 i don't know but uh that's yeah what would, they, would they like do they have any uh or like what do they let you get away with as many as you meant well like they've been really um they've been extremely liberal with me and just like giving me whatever i request so that's pretty cool but i am trying to be more and more mindful as like there's people that are trying to get like a, you know asking for 100 po apps and you know they're not getting you know they're kind of having like the curation board and making sure that they're like actually issuing them correctly and whatnot. So like, I'm just trying to be mindful of all this moving forward. Plus what we could do is set up a, uh, you can put a fee on it as well. So we could go higher and say, Hey, there's like, let's go five or a thousand or whatever, but we can pay a fee up front to mint it just like from, you know, from the sushi side. And then we could also say, Hey, there's a fee from, uh, to actually claim each PO app. 
So that's a feature that we can actually add in through Guild. And then uh, for like these forum calls and whatnot, we haven't put that in yet. Uh, but it's something that we should talk about. Because what I'm seeing here is that, you know, obviously POAP has just been doing all this for free. <laughs> and like, you know, Patricio has been, you know, uh, probably the one leading most of the financing in a lot of ways for this. Uh, but anyways, the, the point being that like uh, this stuff isn't free and they have made it free and they've made it super accessible. So now having the ability to say, okay, well, let's, let's, you know, put a fee, you know, so it's kind of gating it in a way, but it could, fee doesn't matter how, what size it is. Like it can be like zero, zero one of a Matic, you know, or something like that. If you wanted to pay out on Polygon, however, we could do it so that we said, Hey, if it's going to cost you like maybe it costs $1, you know, to mint a PO app. Uh, I mean, I don't know where that's just like a number I'm throwing out right now, but if we have 500 people minting PO apps, that's $500 that we could put into like a slush fund for the community. And then we can at least use that capital to like pay and mint new PO apps. Again, we can actually donate back to PO app when we are minting saying, yes, we will pay the cost of the mint depending on how many we're PO apps we're asking for. So we can kind of keep that circular economy going. Plus let's say it was like, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Let's say it costs $50 to donate to, well, I don't even think it'd be that high, but whatever. Let's say it's $10. There's still $490 that we can use in a slush fund within the community to be like, hey, what should we do with this? And maybe we can like have, you know, we can pay for artists or something like that, or we can create raffles or we can like, I don't know. We, we can come up with some interesting ideas and kind of like have like a small fund for community engagement and and things like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think probably the easier way to go about it would definitely be to look at like a CSV and just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take a look yeah. at this um, after this closes out here tomorrow. Um, yeah, I actually figured out how to use this. Like, what is it? Something. Uh, oh, man. Some sort of hacker coding thing is what I was calling it. I added it into my. Um, uh, community tooling page uh, in snapshot but yeah like query js or something or i don't know what it's called but anyways there's something like that where you type in the code and you get back a result and then put it into google sheets and yeah you know i did cool i am now a data analyst i am a data <laughs> analyst engineer thank you thank you uh, anyways, so I, I maybe I'm, I've got like a pretty good workflow now. Just copy pasta to figure out all this stuff. So we can take a look at uh, at uh, the those numbers and see kind of where <clears throat> where that threshold is and what makes sense and and whatnot. So we can kind of go from from there. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there with like the payment behind PO apps. Uh, if there's anyone that's like really for it or uh, diametrically against it. But um, something I've been thinking about and kind of have always, I don't know, even had thoughts about this ahead of time where I was like, oh, I wanted to have thresholds on voting. And if we could charge people for it, then we could like actually generate revenue. And now it's like kind of coming to fruition. But anyhow, uh, if we do pay for it, then like, I mean, everybody here has a crypto wallet. So like, I don't really see that barrier where like there's other people that are like, oh, we want to get people into POAP from you know, with an email address and, you know, they're able to like claim their PO app there. And then later on they can like get a, you know, hard, you know, get a hardware wallet and an address and figure it out from there. But anyways, I'm, I'm digressing here. I'm going on on and on about PO apps and then sushi stuff. So, um, yeah. So that's, uh, like I say, just, uh, with the multi-sig vote that's up on snapshot, get in there, vote and, uh, yeah, as of now, it is uh, seven million, so it is in favor of the uh, the vote, and that does have and that has met quorum. Uh, we'll have final results tomorrow. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, next up, uh, yeah, there was like this discussion uh, or proposal here about uh, adapting Thor chain. Um, yeah, obviously. Uh, so here, this one was put in. Uh, and for anybody that's not familiar with ThorChain, uh, it's like a cross-asset uh, swapping platform. So you can have things that are uh, you know not native to you know the EVM ecosystem. 
So um, yeah, you can actually swap out assets outside of uh, outside of that. So uh, so it's not just for ERC twenties, but for BTC, LTC, Atom, AVAX, which I mean is an ERC, but uh, and more layer one coins. If uh, if adopted, Thorchain has uh, if adopt the Thorchain as backend. Um, so yeah, it uh, allows cross-chain swaps without wrapped assets, and they have the aggregation function for partners. Um, yeah, so that's uh, using Thorchain pools for L1 coins, uh, yeah. as uh, as we said, the other ones, like those BTC, LTC, all those other ones. Um, you could also do Doge then in that case. I don't know if the store thing, Thorchain support Doge. But uh, I don't know. This is a pretty barren proposal. I'm not gonna, I no, know. I know. But like, I thought. So I thought we read it here somewhere. There was like some cool. There was already like a back end here. So like, how Thorchain supports cross chain aggregation. Uh, I haven't gone through this because it looks like it's a you know developer docs or whatever. But um, if there is a way for you know simple integration, kind of like not widgety things. I don't know. Does that make sense? If it's like a widget or something, but because it's like well, the, aggregator, the aggregator overview right now, and okay. there's a typo in the first sentence. Oh. Um, yeah, because like uh, you know, Shapeshift that's using Thorchain, uh, like <clears throat> yeah. Is there? I actually don't. I didn't know that that Shapeshift is using Thorchain, but it makes sense. I thought Shapeshift had its own thing, but EVM implementation. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some more time, I guess, reading through their docs. But I'm just gonna like, well, I I hate like the lack of uh, engagement, I guess, on this because like it, it's all you know new people coming in from the mm -hmm. outside saying, mm -hmm. yes, we should have this. Like if you look at the votes and all the people talking on here and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I'd like to, you know, maybe see. Yeah. So just like some further um, input around like development and what that actually looks like, if this is feasible, <clears throat> you know, uh, what that looks like. Uh, I don't know what, you know, now connecting wallets like that becomes a bit of a, with sushi guard seems like there may be quite a way to get that. Well, it would, well, I don't think it, I don't think it would it really. Yeah. It would be like a whole, it would just have to. Yeah. I don't know. That's just like a whole complete. What's the word that I'm looking for? Like not a revamp or a redesign, but probably not the same thing. You know, mm -mm. I'm not a developer myself, but I figure if you're going into a whole new ecosystem back end, yeah, and like having two different addresses, which it, which works. Like, I mean, uh, you know, bridging over to like uh, Aptos, for example, like that was like one of the recent ones that uh, you know using a non EVM, and you know you need to have like a two separate wallets, and you have to connect both of them and make sure it works. But like some of these wallets, like for example, like I don't know, is there any like Bitcoin wallets that are like Web three ish? Uh, I mean, like Litecoin, absolutely. I don't think there is like, uh, unless if there's like maybe some of these, uh, I guess maybe there's like um, web wallets that are, have like that connectivity, but I haven't really played around with any of those. Um, I'm still kind of old school when it comes to Bitcoin and use like old trusted shit that doesn't really do the cool kick flips that we like to do over here in the EVM ecosystem. Um, but uh yeah, let me tell you about well, it. You get an address, yeah, you get an address for both from your seed. Um, in I don't know. How often do you use Bitcoin on your Keystone? I basically it sits there. I just send Bitcoin to it. That's it. I do some like uh, multi sig transactions for a community I'm involved with, um, like once a month, and that is from Electrum. And I highly like, wow, Electrum versus like Gnosis. Oof, oof, oof. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, like the barrier to entry is high. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like if you want to like move a new, 
Well, I'm, I'm again, I'm diverging. I'm digressing here again, but um, yeah, to set up, like if you want to change out a new address on an Electrum wallet, you just got to start a new one and get everybody migrate over there. Like, I don't think there's like a simple way to just be like remove signer, add signer. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yes. Uh, so yeah, Thor, Thor chain, as far as like, uh, yeah, further implementation. Yeah. would definitely need the, um, yeah, need developers on that, like from the sushi side to kind of like express how that would work. But, um, yeah, of course, like swapping back and forth with EVM assets. Uh, yeah. Can work, I guess. And maybe it just like ends up being like a kind of a bridge or something where you're like using similar like like kind assets. Like, so let's say you would have like wrap Bitcoin and you wanted to go, you know, use Thorchain to get, you know, to get out. Maybe it goes faster or something rather than like, you know, using a native bridge or something. I don't know. And I don't know how native those bridges are. Um, yeah, because then you're not actually like, the, the swap could happen maybe easier. I, I don't know. If it's like more like a stable asset out. Which I guess is what it could happen on the on like the sushi side then. Maybe that's like what would work, right? Is that you could say, hey, all right, we'll switch. You know, if you have ETH and you want to get, you know, native Bitcoin, it would like do that swap ahead of time for wrap Bitcoin and then use that wrap Bitcoin to go out so that you're not like taking on crazy price uh, fluctuations by the time it gets there. Cause like it's got to finalize on Bitcoin or I don't know how that all works, I guess, cause I haven't really used the chain to get Bitcoin, but uh, yeah, if it's got to take like, uh, you know, I don't know, is it like how many confirmations do they, uh, does it take and like how much of the price has moved and are you in your range and, I could see like a lot of failures happening there. So you'd have to like try and find something that was stable so that a stabler asset so that as you exit out, uh, maybe there isn't that price change so much. Yeah, I see a, I see an example transaction that actually, I think I get it a little bit more now I'm like looking through this, but yeah, okay, I'm not a smart man for these things. I'm big dumb dumb. No, Zap, you're not a big dumb dumb. Come on. You know, other people can say mean things about you, but don't say mean things about yourself. Okay, Dad. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, anyhow, uh, we'll have to wait for some. No, more. Nick, you you got the you got the legal mind, man probably know a lot more than i do yeah yeah legal man nick uh right um yeah i see there's been a bit of uh, chatter here around like the miji governance as well as copy pasta in here no not today that's all good um yeah but yeah, just more like, you know, kind of discussions around like the shares and, and everything, and, uh, the whole quadratic voting. But uh, yeah, it'd be good to get copy passed on here to see just like kind of an update and like further thoughts with it here. You know, um, see some stuff here around like, you know, DK, like talking about the decay and everything of the voting power. and um, Yeah. um yeah perhaps next week we can get them to come on and you know it's been a lot of engagement around this and just see where where this can go and if it's something that uh something that we can work towards but for anybody that's actually here we can copy pasta that if you haven't already seen WG. Da, 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 da. yeah hello so um actually jared was on a call with sam i wasn't on the call so i don't know exactly all the details of what they're talking about um if you want to oh yeah with sushi guard 
Yeah, I don't know all the exact details about that. Let me dig back through the messages. When uh, next time we get a hold of, uh, well, I don't know. When Sam is ready, he will come on. He's usually pretty good about that. He's, uh, uh, I think he was taking a, a bit of a breather here. Um, when I messaged him after the forum last week, he said he was kind of like yeah, just taking some uh, recovery time. I think he's been hammering things pretty hard. So whether he's back into it this week or not, I'm not sure. But um, Yeah, he uh, shared the deployment and some simulation results this morning with Jared, Matt, Sarong. have not had a lot of time to go through it, but yes, it is looking closer, sir. All right. Quote, unquote. Okay. That was earlier this morning, so. Cool. All right. Well, we'll keep everyone updated on that. I know everyone's excited about it. I mean, that's a, yeah, a killer feature that, you know, it's been like a long time in the making and coming and changing and proof of staking and all this kind of stuff and uh, OFACing and all this <laughs> weird uh all these weird things that keep getting thrown at us in uh, in this weird crypto game. But it's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know anything else here. Maybe this is a kind of a good one to wrap up here for today. I don't know if there's well, any... That's pretty relatively short. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot going on this week, honestly. And uh, I would love to discuss Mayj more, but yeah, um, Control C, Control V, that's his baby. Um, mm -hmm. He knows so much more about the ins and outs. They've been talking about it on and off in the form there. If you want to like go ahead and look at discussions they had, yeah, yeah, and like uh, I'll I'll reach out to them and uh, get them to come on next week. We can dive through that further and just kind of see where progress is with it, and you know what this kind of. Because a lot of this is like reworking, well, I mean, it is just reworking governance. And like, this is, again, not just like a, a sushi problem or like a sushi, you know, only, uh, you know, in, like only isolated to sushi. Like this is across an entire ecosystem. So having, uh, yeah, having kind of like a cool path forward is, uh, you know, could be quite powerful. If, if you didn't, um, if you weren't here like uh, for 101, like two weeks ago, he was on and he did talk about it for a good minute um at least for at least yeah i see 12 minutes on the timeline oh yeah nice and then zulian also had his um his uh tokenomics rework up there that he was talking about as well it's pretty interesting yes yes um oh 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 what do i see typing what do i see yeah. typing what is this and now it is, oh, it's back on again. All right, let's see what uh, what this says. We have uh, resident Sambasha in the AMA text queues. Open MEV router deployed to, there it is. There is your, uh, there is your Etherscan addresses, everyone. So you can take a look at that and yeah, cool. All I see is byte code, my dude. All right, man. All right. Thank you very much, Sam, for tossing that in there. So yeah, if anybody Do you have any more details for us in that regard, Sam. Anything else, Sam, with it? Any like oh, he's just teasing us. Oh, are those and no. funny <laughs> jokes? <laughs> funny joke. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? Oh, I didn't see this here. Look at this. I missed this till just now. Get up here. Hello, Sir Sam. Can you hear me? We sure yeah. can. Hey, awesome. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome. All right. So, uh, I, I don't hear anything you guys have been saying? 
That's all right. We were so, just like talking super. There, it wasn't about really you. a whole lot, honestly. Um, anything interesting at all? But I just I don't know if you had like any more details for us in regards to the uh, Open MEV contract. Now uh, I just put. I saw. So I just posted the new addresses. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it earlier today, and uh, there's there's so there's actually two bugs in the router contract. They're they're not related actually to the code. They're actually related to the Solidity compiler. So. We uh, upgraded the router contract uh, validity versions and then added some some minor adjustments. And we tested it earlier today, or actually late last night, uh, with Tenderly. The simulations worked. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Jared has the information that he needs to, to, to go from there. Uh, there's a there's a, a front end actually that you can test the swaps if you want. That's not the sushi front end. Uh, I guess I still have to talk to 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 the front end team about hooking it up, but everything is is, is good to go. Hell yeah, brother. Sick. So yeah, we 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 we, we dodged the slight bullet, but I don't think that those bugs would have been uh, particularly relevant potentially to 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 how the contract works but you never know All right, yeah thanks for coming up and giving us the update i know people have been you know a lot of people have been uh, I've, yeah well, I've, I've had my hands full you know with with <laughs> some other stuff so uh the relay for <laughs> for, for uh, securing her pc which is what sushi's using is had a had an exploit like two weeks ago, but uh, everything besides that has just been, you know, getting getting up to speed on on uh, on all the changes and stuff. So, uh, do you guys have any other questions or? Um, I guess uh, as far as the other the chains and the L twos, um, do you have any plans to like expand it out to the other other chains networks? We're yeah, we're, we're gonna do that as soon as. Uh, as soon as possible. I just have to talk to to Jiro and then get the, the so the only thing for the other chains is getting uh, the addresses for for Sushi's governance, right? Because you know there's harvesting function, so that's the only the only coordination that's that's required uh, okay. to get some on those chains. All right. Cuz I have no I have, I have no idea what uh how the how how the devops side of things is done on on other chains. I do know on like mainnet how everything works but not on on other chains so. But yeah. yeah. All right. Wicked Sam. Text questions. Do you have any questions anybody? Yeah, if anybody else has got things while well, we have Sam here, uh, obviously giving us the updates, that's sick. We're uh, getting yeah. close. Yeah, and so she, this may was it Meiji? Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Looks, oh, looks, yeah, the governance? The governance? It's a lot more than just governance. Oh, yeah, 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 but... It's, it's, it's Sushi 2.0. Yeah. What are your oh, thoughts? Yeah. You've got, what have, what's uh, some of your takes on it then, Sam? Uh, I actually have uh, no idea. That's why I was asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, See, so yeah. no, I'm, 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 I'm lying. Uh, I know. I, I know you. Are. <laughs> I know you are. So. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. So, like four or five months ago, uh, we we organized uh, uh, like an engineering group to focus on some some of like the more longer term concerns that sushi might may or may not have uh and this this is the result so mm -hmm. uh, i think it's a great proposal uh i know i'm not going to speak for anyone else but uh for, for what i've heard from other people they're all it's been a lot of uh effort put into it it's not something that's just you know flapped together overnight mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. And yeah. Just look at the discussion on the paragraphs and paragraphs back and forth up there. Yeah. Uh, 
I know there's going to be a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a signaling vote. Is that is that or uh, it's oh. not a vote? It's not a vote for adopting the proposal. It's a vote for, I think, uh, seeing if the proposal is like viable or I don't know the specific term, the specific wording of the of the snapshot vote. But uh, yeah, yeah, signal uh, usually what they're what they're labeled like, as yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. right. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because obviously uh, the design should be you know, vetted and potentially, you know, audited before any code is written. So that's, that's what, at least from my perspective, stuff the vote is. It's not like just, you know, uh, it's not like a temperature check per se. It's, it's more of a, let's see if this is, you know, doable first. Mm -hmm. And then, and then if it is, then we can commit the resources to, to getting it implemented. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah, because maybe it's you know doesn't actually work with uh, with the current structures and current like technical implementation or temp technical workload or whatever. Um, well, 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 that, well, that that and then also right, we want to make sure that that like the it doesn't make it doesn't have like any issues with incentives or mm -hmm. you know you know you you get like weird behaviors from people trying to like exploit it or something like that. So yeah, that's true. Because we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to waste money on 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 people like you know, uh, what is it like uh, CowSwap, for example, has an issue with their auctions where uh, if you where the the solvers for the for the batch auction process will actually inflate slightly uh, the the users' bid so that they can win the auction and then uh, uh, they get they get like a refund or something. It's called, called like, I think they call it pennying or something, but they, uh, they're trying to fix that right now. So. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's yeah, it's some interesting stuff. Um, someone asked, was the added liquidity today on fold a recent raise? No. Okay. That's not relevant either to sushi. So I don't know why you'd ask it. I don't know. I mean, it, I guess, I guess, if it was in a sushi LP, so yeah, I'm not sure. Dave, but, yeah, yeah, that, that was not, for a sushi LP, but not not really relevant, bro. Oh, who was? Who, I'm sorry. Let me know. Who, let me let me know who asked that question. Dave W. Dave W. Who is also new to the sushi Discord. Interesting. Um, I guess. Uh, we were talking about Thorchain earlier. Um, someone put up a small what? proposal there about adopting Thorchain as a backend. No. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? <laughs> That's all I had. No. To all right. Sam has well, spoken. Besides that, we we didn't really have a whole lot on the agenda for today. It's, been a relatively quiet week um yeah like see salty funk says i please everybody like look through there look at the meiji governance you know mm -hmm. it's well you, you you know you know the history of that right for the for japan right so the, the, yeah. the show, so the shogun era ended uh ended and and the meiji restoration actually brought about you know the whole you know, Japan coming out of the feudal sort of period and then into the modern era. So mm -hmm. it is uh, fitting. It is fitting. I mean, it, 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 it did end with, with it getting nuked. So I don't know how well. But, you know, it, it doesn't sort of end like that. No, it yeah, doesn't doesn't, yeah. Not, you know, second time's a charm. But. That's how anime got made. We can't let that happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah, uh, there's uh, nothing else on the docket. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it. No, just wanted you to yeah, happy that you can pop on when you can and share your uh, share your updates. So, well, I figured I'd stay away with all the you know, uh, Kentucky Derby talk that was going on. Mm. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Kentucky Derby. Yeah, so much Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Yep. American Pharaoh, <laughs> Deep Biscuit, that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, geez. Well, uh, on that note, there's your funny joke, uh, Django. So I think we have it. I think we have it. I have no, nothing further here. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up. There. Awesome, guys. Great talking. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. We'll chat with you soon. Okay. Let me get the, uh, the sushi. Yeah. So on Spotify and anchor FM, if you look up sushi official, that is the new channel. Um, I'm going to start. I've, I've been putting up the AMAs, the forms. I get one of one one, one two up there today, and then we'll get one of three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. And yeah, if you have been in the, you know, if you, you're in here in the, uh, Sorry, just getting this ready to go here. Uh, If you're looking for a PO app, uh, we do have a few available. You'll head over to Claim PO app. And uh, yeah, go get your PO app here for uh, Sushi 103. There should be, uh, yeah, a link there. So you just need to make sure you you have connected to Guild already. Uh, You know, make sure you've done that. And then, uh, yeah, just head over to Claim dash PO app. Hit Claim PO app. Uh, that guild bot will uh, dial in. Oh, it is working today. That is exciting. And yes, I'd had uh, had some problems yesterday with guild, and it we uh, hit the rate limit. <laughs> really crushed out their rate limits there on Discord. So that was very unfortunate. But uh, yeah. Anyhow, uh, break it again. Let's do it. Uh, hopefully we don't. See, my mine worked here right out of the gate, so that was good. But yeah, alrighty. Um, yes, and if you are over on uh, YouTube, uh, if you're listening in right now, please, uh, well, zap, take it away. What? Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 The thing where you press the like button and you subscribe, and you know, you. You go and you you like all the other videos in the pat. No, don't don't do that. But yeah, yeah. Please like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Feel free to watch it on Spotify as well. I went ahead and I put down a link for the old, uh, well, the old the, the head chef uh, roundtable that we had. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, you got lots of different ways to check in and engage with the forum uh and yeah we are going to be looking to bring new uh new ways new access here for uh uh doing it here in uh or you know, uh, live streaming to youtube as well and twitch and yeah kind of making sure it's everywhere here so uh, yeah for those of you over in twitter spaces thank you so much for joining us as well uh you know we are holding this and hosting this in discord as kind of a main service but uh yeah happy to be able to get you over there in twitter as well uh, oh, yeah. and um, coming up here in a few minutes, Jared is going on to a podcast. Uh, oh, right, with, uh, yes, the Wolf of Wall Street, or Wolf of All Street. Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Scott Melker. Um, yeah. There was, like, this yeah. one one thing that I, he, he said recently with, like, about Charles. He's like, you know, I sat down with Charles Hoskins, and, uh, you know, that guy's really smart. Maybe he's not such a... I was like, "Uh oh, what happened? What happened?" <laughs> so I was a little bit sus at that point, but um, yeah. Anyways, regardless, he's got a massive platform, and it's great that uh, Jared's been able to get over there. And uh, yeah, curious to see what uh, what comes of it here. So yeah, I think Jared said he was going to share the link. Oh, there it is now. That's his YouTube channel. Yeah, I imagine it'll be going live there, so you'll be able to just click on that channel, and Jared goes live in five minutes. Is that right? says 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Which which is my time, so yeah. There you go, folks. Get in there. Uh, so there's, yeah, YouTube, Scott Melker. Uh, yeah, hit that channel, and we, uh, yeah, see what Jared has to say here. Bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, for coming on today. 
like and subscribe and of course uh, go claim your poap if you haven't already if you're uh, listening in live right now uh, yeah we'll see you all next week thanks everyone bye-bye